Hey friend, welcome to my podcast, The Fit Soul. I'm your host, Amy Ramsey. In this podcast, we will be discussing soul-filled strategies to unleash your confidence, increase your energy, and all the things healthy lifestyle. If you're a Christian woman who is ready to reach your God-given potential, walk worthy of your calling with abundant joy and energy, girlfriend, you are in the right spot. I mean, you only have one life to live. You might as well maximize it. Buckle in and thanks for listening. If there is change you want to make in your life, but you feel a little paralyzed or almost even stuck to move forward in that direction. This podcast, actually the next two weeks, this podcast is going to be just for you because, um, when we stay stuck and time goes by, we start to, it it starts to eat at our own, uh, self-trust and it really starts to diminish what we know we're called to do in life and sitting on your potential really stinks. I know I did it for a long time and it, it just, it, it just drove me crazy. And I know that I I speak to so many women that they have the same type of feeling. Like we know we're created for purpose and we want to make sure that we're walking in that right purpose and we have really good intentions, but oftentimes we're not, when we look at it, like in the reality of the situation, we're actually not getting there. So if you have felt stuck trying to move forward in an area of change in your life, whether that's spiritual growth, personal growth, maybe it's a business goal, maybe it's a um, creating some new healthy habits in your life because you know you want to get your health under control and you know you want more energy and to feel better. Uh, this, this week and next week is going to be just for you. I'm going to go ahead and break it down so it's not so long in little bite-sized pieces. So anyway, welcome back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Fit Soul podcast. I am um, really excited to share some just strategies with you because I want you in action. Listen, my God-given superpower, one of them is is activation. I'm, I'm really good at just getting people in action. And um, I haven't always been great about actually getting myself in action. I had to do a lot of work to get here. And I have a lot of empathy with my clients and um, members in my programs where I know they want to do more, they want to do more, but they're struggling just actually to get in action to produce the change that they want in their life. It's a real thing. And what's really worse is, is when you sit in that for even a longer amount of time and more time goes by, and then all of a sudden you feel like you, um, there's a lot of regret And I made a choice in my life a while back that I didn't want to live with any more regret. I've got some regrets in my life. Uh, uh, I've, I've got some things that, man, I wish I could roll the clock back the years back. And and truly, I wish I could have made, I wish I would have made different choices, different decisions. And some of the decisions that I made affected other people. And I, I really do have some regret around that. And there was a a point in a time in my life where I just decided that, you know what, I can't change the past. I have to accept it. And what I can control right now is right now in the future and being wise about how I move forward with my future. So if you're, if you are sitting with some regret or maybe you are, have been sitting on, um, just not moving forward in allowing like fear to take, take over, or maybe it's even, what would people think? <laughs> like, oh my goodness, if I do this thing that I feel called to do, or if I step out of this, what are people going to think? Like they're going to think I'm crazy. Um, I just want to share with you some simple tips on how to really break through and break free from that and get to the other side and how to actually get yourself into action, right? Like to get your butt in action. (laughs) It's easier said than done. I just want to acknowledge that. I want to take a hot minute here and just acknowledge. I get it. I get it. I have been literally paralyzed, absolutely paralyzed with moving forward and just, you know, ready to suck my thumb, sit in a corner and gosh, just never want to come out. 
Um, but I did. I found some, and I just want to share over the next few weeks over these these tips to help you move forward. I also want to let you know that I have just released a brand new program that will help you um, really get into action in your life. So I'll share a little bit more about that later. But I'm thrilled, like beyond excited to introduce a, a mentorship program. I wanted to create a safe place for women um, of faith to come and grow spiritually and also to grow personally, to have personal development and growth with tools to help them really build a uh, rock solid mindset to overcome limiting beliefs and broken beliefs and really dive into who, who they're created to be, who, who is God calling them to be, who has he created them to be. And I give step-by-step, -step, um, tools with it's, it's the only program of its kind out there. I am so excited. It's the walk worthy mentorship. So, um, I'll be taking a few more ladies into that program this month, and I have a May promo, so you can go to uh, the show notes, click on the link, and use the pod use the word podcast, and you can get a little discount on that. But um, this is going to be incredible. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But first of all, there was something that was so interesting that happened recently. This story is. A little heartbreaking and I want to share it at the beginning because I really want you to think right now about what area of your life do you know it is beyond time to change like it is time to make a difference maybe you've tried different strategies maybe you've tried different things and you've just been unsuccessful you know and and whatever this is, or maybe it's that you want to, there's something personally that you want to do and fear just got you gripped and it's just hard to move forward in that. So as I'm starting to, I want, I'm going to share a story with you and I want you to think about yourself in this story and how, what is it the change in your life that you want to make that for whatever reason, maybe you've tried and failed, maybe you're too scared to try because you're, you're, you you have fear of failure, um, or you've got fear of success, you know, whatever it is, I want you to place yourself in this story. And then I want you to think through how important it is for you to go ahead and make this change. So I was talking with someone recently and there was an unbelievable amount of regret. I've never seen so much pain in regret as I had in this one person. And it was heart-wrenching to sit and watch. And one of the reasons why it was so heart-wrenching is because they are older and they have felt like they should have made a change a long time ago. And for all of the reasons, they were scared to do it. They were scared to actually allow themselves the um, right to feel their own emotions, decide what they wanted, and then have the courage to stand up for that and for what is right and some changes that needed to happen. And now, later in life, gosh, it's going to be a lot harder to change. And there's a massive price to pay, not to mention financially, but emotionally, emotionally of not being seen, not being heard, not valuing, valuing, um, herself enough to step up, not valuing her own dreams. And then Staying in a cycle of fear. Staying in a cycle that caused worry and anxiety. And now it's going to be a lot harder to overcome because of, well, I mean, let's just be honest. Obviously, when you're older, um, some, some problems are, are harder. So I want you to right now decide what is it that you need to have changed in your life. And I really want you to perk your ears up and know that change is possible and change is <laughs> available to you, but it's easier 
sometimes that's easier to say, right? But how do you get to that place to where you know that you need to move forward? And so the first step that I want to give to you is, is number one, is to choose courage over fear. When you're making any change in your life, I don't care what it is, it always requires you to choose courage in that moment. You have to go back and you have to decide, you have to make a decision. Remember, cut off all other options and decide to yourself, you know what? What I want is this fill in the blank, your change. This is the change that I want. Maybe it's a healthy lifestyle. Maybe it's to lose the 20 pounds or uh, 320 pounds that are driving you crazy. Maybe it is to have stronger relationships with your family members. Maybe it is to have more um, a sense of community around you. Whatever it is, that change that you know that you want to, to have, you're going to have to choose courage. Fear will grip you and stop you every single time. But what I want to share with you is that when you don't move forward toward that change and you allow yourself to stay in that same place, um, what happens is, is that's where the regret starts to take place and it will keep you in, uh, in action, no action. It'll keep you stuck. And the problem is, is that staying stuck comes at an absolute cost. We know that. I know that. You know that. You feel that. It sucks to be stuck, right? And so I want you to write, like right now in this very moment, go ahead and, and like buckle it in. I will choose courage over fear to get to the next level of what I want. You are worthy of moving forward in your life. This is something that was like this aha moment for me. Like I really never felt worthy in my life. I just didn't. I felt very insignificant for so long. And it took me a long time to realize, hold up, wait up. Okay, hang on. God's got a plan still for me. Even though I've made um, failures you know, so many failures, God still has a plan for me. Like I really did deem myself as unworthy and I was no longer relevant or significant in, in the sight of God, which listen, let me tell you something. That's a terrible view of God because all he is, is loving. I had just listened to too many negative voices, um, from actually from relationships and, and I had from that had broken beliefs from my abusive relationships. I had broken beliefs about what, I, how I was supposed to show up in my life. I just didn't think I was worthy. And it took me a while to realize, hold up, wait a minute. I am fearfully and wonderfully made that God actually put special gifts and talents inside of me. And he has created me for a purpose and that my failures no longer define me, nor do my successes, by the way, that doesn't define me. I am who God says that I am. And because of that, I'm going to move forward in the way in which he's calling me to move forward. But we know that fear can still hold us back. But I want to encourage you and I want to promise you that the fear that's holding you back and keeping you stuck, that's causing that regret, is worse than the courage it's going to take to move forward. Both are scary. Both are like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this, right? Both are really scary. And for any time you do something new and it, you implement something new in your life, whenever you do that, that's going to take more energy and more effort to break free in that time. But it's not going to kill you. <laughs> I had a client that said that recently. She's like, and it doesn't, it didn't kill me. I can do it. Some people have that mentality and some people are, are like deathly afraid of trying that new thing. And that's just your brain's way of keeping you safe. I just want to encourage you with that. Like it's, that's a very normal thing and you're not, um, you're not wrong for thinking that, but that's your brain's way of keeping you safe because it requires less energy. But you know you're being called to whatever the next step is. And so it's going to require you to push past that fear and do it anyway. So step number one is choose courage over fear. And 
you have to, I, I don't, if you're like me and this is just normal, honestly, this is just normal behavior, human behavior. You're going to have to choose it again and again and again and again. So I just wanted to reiterate. I wanted to take extra time on and really help establish a foundation that any step that you're going to take is going to re, is going to be, um, it's going to require courage over and over and over and over and over and over again. So really purpose to choose courage over fear every single time to keep moving forward in that change that you want in your life. Okay. Step number two is know your purpose and take daily action toward that vision. Know your purpose. A lot of women come to me and they're like, Oh, I just, I want to know my purpose. I want to know my purpose. I want to make sure I'm operating in my purpose. And for Christian women, for us women of faith, this is so important because this is like a piece that of, we know that we're created for more. We know that God's calling us for us, uh, calling us for a purpose. Ephesians 2.10 talks about we're created for good works. So what does that mean? And if you're like me and a heart centered woman, I want to, I want to do my job well on this earth. I want to glorify God with my life. I want to please him with the works that I am doing here on this earth. And I know for a lot of women, well, a couple things. Number one, um, oftentimes they're on the, uh, the, the treadmill of life and they're busy and distracted and don't even realize, you know, years and decades are going by and the, the works that they want to do are not being done because they've not, they don't have that intention set toward it. I've been there. <laughs> I want to do all these things and I have great intentions, but guess what? I wasn't doing, I wasn't intentionally actually getting to them. So if that's you, um, I've been there and that doesn't feel good. And I just want to encourage you to get off that treadmill because it will never happen until you bring intention to it and make space for it, make margin for that. And then the other is, is just, really wanting to make sure that we're operating from that place of what is my purpose? Well, let me just ask you a few questions. Knowing your purpose really is helpful for you to um, move towards this place of action. But your purpose, how, how how are people's lives better because your life is in it? Who do you impact? Part of achieving success and being a successful woman is understanding that success is a harmony of these three things, purpose, resilience, and joy. And when these three elements flow together, that's when you will experience true success. Valerie Burton talks about this in all of her books, and I love this combination. So she says this, think of it this way. Success is living your life's purpose while embracing resilience and joy as you do. So we're talking about um, how to actually get into action and to the power of action and overcoming regret, being tied to knowing your purpose and taking daily action toward your vision is a powerful um, motivator to keep you going. It's this intrinsic motivation that gets you in action. And that's what this is all about. The power of action. This helps you to keep yourself in motion. So stay very closely tied to this. Okay. Step three is having proper tools and support. When you are ready to make change in your life, it's important that you have the proper um, tools We've already discussed how anytime we're doing, having change in our life, it requires courage to move forward. It's a little scary, right? And then, um, moving forward in that direction, which direction do you move in? Do you have a clear path in front of you, a clear path of success? Are you, um, creating the, the proper path for success for yourself? Because if you keep doing the same thing, you know, the definition of that is insanity. So I want, I want to make sure that you've got the right tools and the right support in place to move forward, to create this change in your life, to achieve success. So you're not older in life, still struggling with the same things. And so you're actually moving and taking correct 
action. We ain't got time to be wasting no time. You know what I'm talking about, right? So make sure that you've got the right place. Now, one of the things that has helped me in my life, my personal life, was to level up the the circles, the spheres of influence that I was around. It helped me to level up my mindset and to get under proper leadership. And it helped to develop the leader that I am today, um, getting the right coaching tools and the practices. And so I have learned from my own experience how powerful that was to have the right tools in place. And this is why I'm so powerful now of taking and sharing every experience that I've learned, my successes, and more importantly, my failures, because I want to shorten your time for success. I want to shorten that time for you because I know that if you change, you can change your life with your thoughts and your actions and your habits. And so it's my heart's desire to take everything that I've learned as a high performance coach, everything that I know about neuroscience and how the brain works and how we can actually change and we can make change in our life. And more importantly, my passion and my love for Jesus Christ and his word and combine that so we can grow spiritually because as Christians, if our foundation isn't correct, we, we can do things on our own. In fact, we can do a lot of things on our own, but we have so much more inside of us that can go and make change and transformation so much more amazing, right? And so it's my desire to create and a place where women can come and have support and the right tools. So I want to encourage you to go and take a look at my mentorship. The mentorship program is, um, it's all about being able to have a true champion for you. Someone that's really invested in you and your spiritual growth and in your personal growth. And you guys know I'm an energetic cheerleader. I want to encourage and motivate you. I want to hold you accountable so you can achieve your goals. But I want to call you higher, call you forth. Uh, I am a healthy lifestyle expert. And so in this mentorship, I give you tools. I give you proven tools, strategies, and I help you build proper goals to actually help you create change. A mentor is a trusted counselor or a guide. It's one who gives help and advice over a period of time. And what I've learned in my own life, this is just me, okay? I'm not a big one on memberships. I don't like to do memberships. I actually feel resistance anytime I'm looking at a program and I have to put my credit card in there and, and I don't know if I'm going to like it or not or if I'm going to be, am I going to be stuck in something that I don't like? So I'm personally a little resistant to memberships. I didn't want a membership, but I wanted to, what I, what I do with my clients, my one-on-ones, I walk with them through a season, three months. I think three months is a great time to work together. So you can go through some highs and the lows. And most of my clients, I'll be honest with you, come back and keep and stick with me and keep working because they are purpose driven, heart centered Christians who want more for their lives and they really want to maximize their potential. So, um, as one who has done, uh, invested in myself, I understand the power of that. What I do find though, is that that season is really great. And so in this, in this mentorship, you'll get to be mentored by me with daily faith activation. I will activate you daily straight to your phone. There are master classes to help you tools where we will set those goals and my walk worthy members portal. I'm so excited about this because this program is exactly what it will, what you need to, uh, to, to call you higher and, um, to help you break free from the fear and the worry and the anxiety that's been holding you back and actually take action, actually move forward. So click the show notes. Uh, use the the word podcast to to be one of the first ones to get into this new into this new mentorship program. Oh my gosh, it is time for a breakthrough. It is time for a breakthrough. So, all right, th- that's what we're going to hold off today. I'm going to come back. Join me next week. 
we'll pick up right here and we're going to build on this. So change is possible. Listen, between this week and next week, I want you to message me, DM me, let me know one small action you will take to move yourself forward. What is that small action? What is that daily action that you would commit to that you will actually take? DM me, message me, say, Hey, I listened to your podcast and I am going to, uh, maybe you're going to go to bed earlier so you can be more productive during your day. Maybe you're going to drink more water so you can be more hydrated and have more energy. Maybe you're going to make sure that you get up on time. Don't hit the snooze button so you can have that quality time, uh, quiet time with the Lord before your day gets started. Whatever it is, let me know what that is. I want to cheer you on. I want to um, support you. And if you found value in this podcast, please Share it with a couple of friends. Say, hey, listen to this. And join me back next week, same time, same place. Can't wait to see you. Listen, I'm so grateful that you're here. I can't tell you how grateful I am. I'm just, it, I'm so honored that you tune in each week and listen to the Fit Soul podcast. Thank you so much. I love you. You're my people. Okay, I'll see you next week. Girlfriend, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I'm so honored you come back every week and that you share the Fit Soul podcast with your friends and family. Every time you share my podcast on Instagram or Facebook, I do a little happy dance. Make sure you subscribe to the Fit Soul Podcast where you'll never miss an episode. You can go to Podcast, Apple, Stitcher, and Spotify and subscribe so you'll never miss an episode release. And just know, I truly love bringing you excellent content and great guest to provide you motivation and faith inspiration to help you walk worthy. And one of the ways you can help me is to go and leave the Fit Soul Podcast a review. If you have just a moment, would you please go over and leave a review for the Fit Soul Podcast? Thank you again. I love you. And here is your reminder. You are worthy. Until next time. Bye-bye.